How to teach young learners online. Hi, I'm Eric from Etiquette and in this video I will share 10 online teaching tips for young learners. On this channel we talk about teaching in general. We've also recently started focusing on teaching online. Many people have come to me and asked, Eric, I understand how to teach all the students and adults, but I struggle with teaching young learners online. So this video is for you. Before I start, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Let's jump into the 10 tips. Number one, use props. You need to get your learners attention. So instead of a dull background, make it fun and entertaining. Keeping them focused is easier if you have props around. You can have a board to use. You can use puppets. You can use toys. You can use these flashcards. Use anything you can to make your classroom exciting and colorful. Number two, one basic idea. Keep your lessons simple. Most teachers will try and overcomplicate a lesson because they don't think it is hard enough. Remember, these are young children. They are not at your level. Take it slow. Make sure they understand the basics. In every lesson, there should only be one point to focus on. A grammar point, a takeaway at the end of the lesson. Don't try to push too many vocabulary words on them, but make sure they know the few you do share. Number three, excitement. Video takes away 20% of your energy. Smile, be expressive, show your emotions, vary your voice and use it as a tool to keep them engaged. Number four, fun activities. You can use games like scavenger hunt, Tell them to find something in their houses. Something red, blue, starting with the letter A. A fruit, a shoe. Pick three objects and tell a story using the items. So many creative ideas you can look for in their environment. Number five, use their bodies. Ah, this is where I get you. Eric, it's online. That's the last thing I can do. But you forget, I'm Eric, the master teacher. Get them to stand up, do yoga poses, act out words, act out sentences, play charades, send them a private message with a word they have to explain, ask yes or no questions, pizza or cake, blue or red, let them touch the screen or move their heads to say yes or no. Do you like Shrek? Do you like Iron Man? Yes, no. Let them stand up during class, repeat words while they're in different positions. I like potatoes. I like potatoes. I like potatoes. Get them to move around. This brings me to number six. Chance. Use multimedia. Most textbooks have an ebook format which you can use on your computer with the share screen function. Play audio clips and create chants. Chants have been one of the staples of teaching English to young learners. So play a song and create movements that they can copy. They will have so much fun doing it. Number seven, engagement. Get your students talking. Ask them questions. Let them explain themselves. The less you talk, the better your class will be. Cut down on the teacher talk time. Keep it at the back of your mind that you want them to talk. That will also train your students to be more responsive during class. Number eight, personal. Talk about their interests. Ask them about their lives. Let them share their hobbies and who they are. They will love you for it. I like to do a show and tell with my students. What's your favorite toy? And they bring their favorite toy. Tell me about it. Where did you get it? Number nine, routine. Have a fun start to the class to set a positive atmosphere. By raising their excitement at the beginning of class, they will be more engaged during the lesson. At the end, finish on a high. Thank them for their time at the end. Students often only remember the way you made them feel when you finish class. So when they come back for the next lesson, they will be excited to meet you. And finally, 
Number 10. Praise. Praise your students often and encourage them when they make a mistake. You want them to enjoy your classes, to look forward to it. Nobody wants to join a class where they don't feel loved. Make them all feel special. What tips do you have for teaching online? Put your answer in the comments below. If you want to learn more about how to teach online with Zoom, you can watch this video right here. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm Eric from Etiquette, and I'll see you next time. Think, don't.